I'm with Corey Damon Jenkins. He's a friend, but he's also a fabulous designer. He is an author now, and um, we're at Left Bank Art. He has some new art that he's going to share with us, and for the first time, he's going to be showing you something that's being introduced at the High Point Market Spring 2021 right now. So let's first talk about what's behind us, and then we're going to go and explode your new collection. Absolutely. So what are these uh, pieces so that you do? Me. Yeah. Absolutely. So we are introducing a new collection of art, you know, as a traditionalist and a maximalist, I love great interior architecture. And so we wanted to make sure that when we did this collection of Left Bank Art that we touched on great bones, you know, architectural bones. So these pieces here are just fabulous. They have, you know, uh, these sketches, these drawings of beautiful doors. I love doors. I think doors are symbolic. I think it's all about opening uh, opportunities, you know, and I think that coming out of this pandemic, we're all looking for new opportunities, new ways to reinvent ourselves as, as humans. And so this series of doors kind of speaks to that that moment, what is the possibility that's out there in terms of opening doors uh, and making new pathways for ourselves as we come out of this, this moment in history. And you can see here, again, another interior sketch. Uh, this is printed on, on a beautiful linen, which is unusual because yeah. often you think of canvas, right. but we did this on a linen, uh, just for the, the textural element of what it provides. And of course, uh, Left Bank always offers fabulous framing options, so I'm very proud of the more clean, contemporary way that we've outfitted these particular frames, juxtaposed against the more traditional interior content. All right, let's go look at your... Let's check out the... And mouths the wide thing. open. Yes, <laughs> mouths wide open. I had done my first uh, portrait in 2007, uh, which is this one right here. This was the first collection, the first collection installment, which was enough, which kind of, I guess, kind of covers where I was at in my life at that point. Um, I had not launched my firm yet, but I had just lost my job uh, in the big automotive industry. And so those of you who know my story, knocking on 779 doors to find my first design client, I had just lost my job in 2007 when I drew this portrait. Because I was like, it was like enough of corporate interest and big wigs determining what happens to my salary and my lifestyle and my whole um, uh, pathway in life. So we decided to go ahead and pull things together with this portrait and then splash it into a larger collection uh, during the pandemic. So when Quinn and Frankie and I started talking about doing this collection for Left Bank Art, um, obviously you want to produce something that is you know, unique and unusual. And the pandemic really kind of shifted things for me because obviously we all started wearing masks in this once in a century global moment, this pandemic moment. And so I stopped seeing people's mouths, you know? And so um, I miss that. I miss smiling and yelling and anger and crying and fear and all the different emotions that come from the, the expressions of our mouths. And that's basically how Mouths Wide Open came to be. It was really um, uh, an answer to the pandemic and this thing that we all had to do to, you know, maintain our life as a species. But something that I think we all took for granted as humans was the ability to see our mouths naked. Talk about the people because it's not just the person you started with, it's a multi-generational, multi-ethnic. Talk about the people. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone's different, you know. We have some people um, that are younger, older, different races, different um, backgrounds, different genders. Uh, I really wanted to represent the entirety of the human race as best I could, you know, and to really um, tie in different types of emotions. Um, because as, as a species, we go through a wide spectrum. And we can be angry, we can be joyful, we can be upset, we can be disappointed, we can be you know, full of fear and anxiety. And so I wanted all of that to be uh, expressed here. Um, Rally Bob, for example, um, he is a very impassioned political voter. Whether you're left, right, or center, uh, we did have a big national election uh, in, the, in the United States uh, during the pandemic. And so I thought about that voter, no matter which way you lean, yeah, that one right there. Uh, the tall yeah. one, wow. The, the up one, oh wow. See, and I thought you were talking about this one. So. That one might be the reaction to the outcoming of the voting. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, but the top one was more about you know, people who are on different ends of political spectrums, because we're all very passionate about how we live. And so that 
portrait represents that person. Um, and then with the proposal, uh, the, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, with the proposition, uh, again, what does that mean? Is it sexual? Is it, is it flirtatious? I'll leave that up to the eye of the beholder to interpret what that means. Um, but it's fun, right? Um, and, so, and then some of the other ones, Joy, you know, she's all about expressing her happiness. Uh, again, something that was missing for a minute there, I think, for a lot of us during the pandemic. Um, goddess, um, we love the elderly. We, we worship our, our patriarchs and matriarchs, those upon whose shoulders we stand. And so I want to make sure that we represented the, the, um, the mature community. I call them mature. Love it. <laughs> mature people. Um, so with Goddess, and also the great debate, the Jewish rabbi, I want to again pay homage to our elders. Um, the sky is falling, I think is very fun and very apropos as well for the moment that we're living in because again, people don't always know what's happening in the world or not just our own country, but you know, worldwide. And there are times when we may feel like the sky is literally falling. So um, I want to kind of touch on that. I want to know about her. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. I will survive. So I Will Survive is basically my um, ode to women who are fighting cancer, whether it's breast cancer or ovarian cancer. This particular portrait is about the woman who overcomes um, the battle for her body and for her own soul and really embracing her own internal energies um, and, and, and to, to you know, be successful in her battle for her health. Wow, see, that's not what that song means to me. That is an anthem for oh, so Gaynor. many women. Right, right. But wow, to Close take that. Gaynor. And yes, yeah. it's like, I will make it and I will survive. But to right. take it to there, love that. Yeah, I mean, it could be that too. I, exactly, right. but that's not how you interpret it. And that's <laughs> a good example of music and art and how the artist interprets it. Exactly. Yep, I have the holder. Speaking of music, that's my jam. You know, I went old school with this one with the headset, you know, the headphones. Um, and then, of course, with Crescendo, a, an Asian uh, vocalist reaching her highest octave. You know, again, just showing all the different types of emotions that can be expressed through the open mouth. So, um, where did you find these people? Are they people you have made up? Is it something you saw? What, who are these people? It's a real mix and medley. Some of them are people that I made up. Some are from people I've seen on the streets. You know, um, just different. I had a couple of models also model for it. So it's just different people uh, that just kind of spoke to me in the moment. The main thing for me was, was making sure that everyone was represented well in the collection. And you can't represent every single you know, nuance of humanity, but if you can get a good portion of our human family, we can always expand the collection. There are actually more portraits that are not released for this market that we're gonna release in subsequent markets. And so we'll see how that turns out in the future. One other thing is I love the difference that each of these make, whether the, based on the way they're framed. Yes, yeah. Big difference in the framing. So we have the really fun, kind of neon acrylic framing for one version um, with the kind of uh, Andy Warhol level splash of Technicolor. Uh, all of these are available in different variations of color with this frame. Um, but I also wanted to make sure that we offered a more versatile option for those of us who have a neutral palette in their homes and don't want a lot of color on the walls. So you can also get them in the original black and white. These uh, portraits were drawn with lead and ink a real combination of those two mediums. And so uh, Left Bank Art was so supportive in letting me produce the collection both ways to hopefully suit two different types of, of, of um, buyers. I love it. You are doing so much to bring beauty into the world. I love your stories. That's the other thing you are. You're a fabulous storyteller for about <laughs> yourself and about bringing different people's voices to the world. And you have a new book. New book, Design Remix. I yeah. love it. Yeah. it uh, so congratulations. I know you have some new things also happening this in High Point at Market, a new collection. New bedding collection with Downtown Company that's dropping also this market. So we're having a big uh, brunch celebration tomorrow morning for that. Um, and then we have some really big stuff coming this upcoming spring, including a brand new collection of wall coverings and fabrics of Craddock. Love it. So there's a lot in store. Okay, my friend, Corey Damon Jenkins, honored to call him a friend, and Thank yay, love it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs>